it's Sarah Dean with Fit Healthy Moms, and I want to talk to you a little bit about diastasis recti. So if you have a diastasis after you have a baby, that's the line formed down the center of the belly from the separation of the abdominal muscles. So if you have a diastasis, a lot of times you can't see it. Some moms do get an actual line down the middle that they can see, but a lot of times you can't see it. And most of the time after you have a baby, you have a separation there that's wide enough that there's a bunch of ab stuff you shouldn't do because you might make it worse and you want that to heal. A lot of times it'll heal on its own within the first couple months of your of giving birth, um, but you want to make sure that you're doing everything you can do so that those muscles heal and repair and recover. Otherwise, you're going to be having this bulge that sticks out and pooches out for a much longer time like yours, and of course that's not what you want. So I'm going to show you how you can test for diastasis recti today. So what you want to do is you want to lay on the floor on your back, and when you come down to the floor here, if you're not sure if you have it, you want to lay from your side here so that you're not engaging those ab muscles as you come down. You want to keep them relaxed. You're going to lay on your back from this position with your head resting, and you're going to put one hand behind the ear and one hand right above the belly button. Now I'm going to lift up my shoulders just a couple inches. My fingers are right above the belly button here, and I'm going to push down, and there should be a valley that you feel right in there. If that valley is wider than two finger widths, you have your two fingers together, if you can get more than two fingers in there, then that means you have a diastasis. To come up off the floor, you want to roll to your side and come up so those abs don't engage, and then come up to standing. So if you find that you have more than two fingers wide of a diastasis, you don't want to do any crunches, any sit-ups, any sort of exercise that makes you push out, because that's going to continue the stretching of those muscles. Instead, you want to do muscle exercises where you're pulling in. So anything where you can do an isometric hold, that means you just stay in one place and you pull it in. You might even use your hands to kind of push the sides together. You can use a towel too to wrap around and push the muscles back together and hold them right there. And that's going to help you over time get that, get that muscle group back into shape, get it reconditioned so you can go back to doing your traditional ab exercises. The other thing you can do is called a zipper. You can pull from the very low, low abs here start to pull and imagine you're zipping up that whole line, giving that contraction as it pulls up here and then hold it at the very top for a few seconds, relax, let it go, and then start over again. So down at the bottom, contract, pull it in, and then pull all the way up to the rib cage, to the top of the rib cage, so you're getting this whole line here as pulled in and engaged, and then relax and let it go. The third thing you can do is planks. You can do planks on a couple different surfaces, depending on how strong you're feeling. You can go to a banister or railing, and you can come right here, and bringing your chest in, li in alignment with the railing right here. And from here, I'm just pulling my abs in as deep and as tight as I can. So again, I'm getting that isometric hold. I'm pulling in here, I'm never pushing out. I'm always pulling in. Similarly, same idea, you can come onto the floor. So you can come onto the floor here on your elbows and your toes, and now I'm pulling up here. If I feel this in my back at all, I'll go to my knees. Same idea, pulling through my belly button, pulling as deep as I can. So always pulling up, never pushing out. Anytime you go into a crunch, you're going to get a little bit of a push out. That's going to potentially exacerbate that area and make it stretch out more. So you're always focusing on doing things where you pull in. Also, you don't want to do any twisting exercises. So just a few tips for you. If you have that diastasis recti, test for it every week or so. See if it's getting smaller. Once it's down to two, in, two finger widths or less, you can go back to your traditional ab exercises. You can go back to some of the lighter twisting motions. Um, and then as you get comfortable with those things, you can start to increase the volume and kind of how dynamic the move is. All right, any other questions, let us know at Fit Healthy Moms and we'll get you started.